emergency meeting tonight to address the critical question in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas community right now. How do they prevent more suicides? Elected officials, law enforcement officers, school employer, employees, and others are all joining mental health professionals to offer support to those who are still suffering the effects of the massacre. Two Stoneman Douglas students took their own lives just days apart. Sydney Aiello was in her first year of college. Her mother tells us she was in so much emotional pain she could often not even walk into a classroom. And Calvin DeSeer was just a sophomore. His sister describes him as loving, kind, and soft-spoken. He, too, felt hopeless. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live now in Coral Springs, where many are gathered looking for ways to offer hope. Hank. 200-plus people inside this city hall tonight shows you the high interest in this very sensitive subject. Let's take a look. It is a race to get information to those who need it. A gathering, a town hall meeting. The subject, mental health and suicide prevention. How to help students, teachers, parents who are in one way or another impacted by the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre. With a suicide death of two Stoneman Douglas students a year after the incident, mental health providers have fired up their efforts. The Florida Initiative for Suicide Prevention brings its material so others can educate themselves and maybe understand it, plus help prevent. We teach them the signs of potential suicide so they'll speak up. This night, a meeting being held at the Coral Springs City Hall, a panel of experts speaking and answering questions from the audience. Also, there are a number of organizations who can provide help, resources, and information on how parents, students, teachers, and the general public can deal with a traumatizing event such as the mass shooting. Smith Community Mental Health Services, for example, can even visit your home. We try to like basically de-escalate, inform the parents of what's going on, give them signals and signs of things that they can look out for. Lots of information being uh, passed out. This meeting will continue on until about 8.30 tonight, so there is time to get down here. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News at 7. Back to you.